Our in-person guest on Project Sinatra is the composer, arranger, conductor, certainly held in the highest regard by Sinatra, together with Jenkins, to uh, work on the final album and his return to television from sabbatical. Our in-person guest is Don Costa. Welcome, Don. Oh, thank you. Don, to you, what personality, nomenclature, would you apply to Sinatra, which is accounted for his longevity as opposed to that of other singers? Well, um, his uh, extremely good taste. Yes. Uh, his integrity with his music, choice of material. Um, plus, he this electric, uh, what do you call it, electricity that happens to very few uh, performers and uh, his uh, magnetism. That is I mean, the word. How do you... Uh, wow, you hit it with the same uh, word. The same word Dave Cavanaugh used from Capital. Oh, really? Magnetism. Yeah. Strong. It must be tremendously oh, yeah. strong. He's... Um, in our time, I don't know what you last century or the coming century. I hope, um, I hope Mr. Sinatra is not the last, but he's certainly, in my mind, the only one who's uh, uh, can be truly called a leader, a true leader in, uh, uh, in the world of music. I mean, pop music, anyway. Yes. yes. Um, well, it's. He's hard. Everybody, you know, I've talked to so many people. They ask me, "What do I, you know? What do I think?" And it's yes. just you, you, it's hard. he's a hard man to describe, except that because you, you can't compare him to anybody. You know, he's all by himself, and uh, very difficult, very difficult for me. Except that I think he, if he's not openly considered uh, the the hero of our times musically, he, I think, in everybody's uh, mind and. I think you, wouldn't you consider him that? I would. Sort of a leader of, yes. um, he should be the leader of the kids today. He should, I mean, uh, not that he deserves to be, but I mean, he's the only one. It uh, is amazing to me, Don, the fact that you have been so close to him throughout the years. And uh, of course, one of my all-time favorite orchestrations I was privileged to introduce was your marvelous backing for Lady Day. <laughs> Which I, which I somehow feel was the uh, song which provided the impetus for the production of the motion picture, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Lady Sings the Blues. Yeah. From your latest album, Old Blue Eyes is Back, I'm going right. to I'm gonna have to lead you into the answer I want on okay. this for one reason. We are in our 12th hour, and for our 11th and 12th hours, we have chosen Gordon Jenkins, our 11, and Don Costa for our number 12. Now, from your album, Old Blue Eyes, I have already t played Let Me Try Again, which is obviously going to become a single release. It's being played all over at the present time. And the other strong tune, I think that probably the strongest song in the album, is The Winners, which we are going to use, I'll tell you in front, as the closing song of okay. this program. Therefore, I must say, of the other arrangements provided by you for the Old Blue Eyes album, what is your favorite? You're all, you've left me a great choice here. <laughs> yes, uh, but uh, you have, uh, if you ask me that in front, uh, without telling me any of the other songs that you've played, this would be my favorite anyway, because it's one of my favorite songs, both arrangement-wise and song, and that's Dream Away. One final question from our in-person guest, celebrated composer, conductor, arranger, Don Costa. Don, when I say... Balladeer, swinger, singer, forlorn lover, into what specific category would you place the man to whom we're devoting this 12 hours? Category. Balladeer. Yes. I think, because I think Balladeer, uh, who sings about uh, lost love and uh, looking ahead at brighter times and so on, might be one who covers every phase of life and certainly this man has about experienced just about everything when you're saying everything you're talking oh, I mean about everything in life uh, I'll tell you when I first started working with him again after Sinatra and, and Strings which was quite a while ago yes I remember uh, the first thing we did was a song called Cycles that's the one and I just love that song and somehow 
I associate that song with him. For the moment, Don Costa, pretend you're a DJ and introduce the song. And here's my favorite Frank Sinatra song, for many reasons, Cycles. Our in-person guest has been uh, a man for whom I have had the utmost musical respect. And now I have some personal respect because he made an appearance on this show, Project Sinatra. Thank you, Don Costa, for appearing. Thank you, Paul. It's a pleasure.